Welcome back. Today we are talking about two cheeky muscles. Oh, that's exciting. Which one? The gluteus medius and the gluteus minimus. Their actions are very similar and they work together. Kind of like us? Yes! But when they don't work together, it can affect gait and posture. Bummer. Oh. <laughs> Did you know that we have three gluteal muscles? We've already looked at the gluteus maximus, which is the largest. Next, we have the gluteus medius, which is in the middle, and finally, the gluteus minimus, which is the deepest and smallest of the three. Together, they create the shape of your butt. Want a bubble butt? Strengthen all three. Let's draw this muscle. Don't forget that you can click on the link below for your own copy of the skeleton and draw along. So the gluteus medius and gluteus minimus are fan-shaped muscles. <laughs> One sits right on top of the other. Now, this is going to make it a little challenging to draw on the blackboard, but luckily, Teresia has a plan. I've drawn the right side of the pelvis. There are two of them because here I'm going to draw the medius, and here I'm going to draw the minimus. And then she's going to take the medius and lay it right on top of the minimus so we can see how the two muscles work together. Up here is the ilium. The dotted lines are the gluteal lines. This reptile looking thing is your tailbone. Over here is the femur and the ischium. And keep in mind that the ilium, the ischium, and the femur all make up the hip joint, which is the main joint that the gluteus medius and minimus stabilize. I'm going to start with the gluteus minimus because it lives under the gluteus medius. We're going to start with the proximal connection, which is the external surface of the ilium between the anterior and the inferior gluteal line. Next is the distal connection, which is at the anterior border of the greater trochanter. As I draw the fibers, you'll notice it's fan shaped. Teresia is using a red marker for the posterior fibers and a pink marker for the anterior fibers. Because of the location of the distal connection, the fibers of the gluteus minimus tends to make it more of an internal rotator of the hip, as well as a hip flexor. So now that we drew the muscle on the board, we're going to find this muscle on Jessica. She's going to lift her leg so I can find her greater trochanter, which is right here. I'm going to place the distal connection on her greater trochanter. And now she's going to drop her leg. And as you can see, when these muscles contract, it should bring my leg into flexion and internal rotation. Now we're going to take a look at the gluteus medius, starting with the proximal connection, the external surface of the ilium, between the anterior and posterior gluteal lines. Next, we have the distal connection, which is at the lateral surface of the greater trochanter. Now let's connect the fibers. Teresia is using a dark green marker for the posterior fibers of the gluteus medius and a light green marker for the anterior fibers. The posterior fibers have the ability to do more external rotation and extension, while the anterior fibers can do more flexion and internal rotation. We'll demonstrate this in just a moment. But first, Teresia is going to draw the gluteus medius right on top of the gluteus minimus. Stay tuned to find out how these two muscles work together. As you can see from Teresia's beautiful drawing, we have two fan-shaped muscles, one right on top of the other. Now we're going to find those on Jessica. As you can see, the gluteus medius lays right on top of the gluteus minimus. If you look at the fibers, the dark tape here, which is the posterior fibers, would cause my leg to go into extension and external rotation. And if you look at the anterior fibers, when they contract, they bring my leg into abduction, flexion, and a little bit of internal rotation. Okay, friend, let's talk about how these muscles work together. If you're ever in a jam, here I am. It's friendship, friendship. These two muscles work together to rotate the leg. That's right, in an open chain movement, these muscles internally and externally rotate the leg. In a closed chain movement, meaning I'm standing on the leg, the gluteus medius and gluteus minimus become the biggest muscles used for stabilization of the pelvis and balance.
Life's too short to be singing the same old blues. When adventure calls, that's the path I choose. I don't care what people think. Wherever I go, I'll be wearing pink. And maybe I'll even add my party shoes. I wear my pink tutu no matter what I do so that I won't feel blue no matter what. And in my pink tutu, the crazy things I do, you know I can't feel blue no matter what. No matter what. No matter what. on Quite Humorous. We had a fantastic time. There's only 634 muscles left.